well, hello, hello. We're in the land of Robin Hood, going through Sherwood Forest. This is actually legitimately Sherwood Forest. You know, Robin Hood and his band of merry men could have been in this very in these very woods. Hey, I've always wanted to go a little ponton. Just got a fucking pebble dash in the face by all your bloody pebbles. <laughs> you've, done, you've done it again, you tosser. Hey, makes a change this road though. They've been on the motorway for 70 miles. Not bad. No wind blasting my ear holes, definitely. Going down some nice little little road to Little Ponton. My favourite place, you know, Little Ponton. I've been loads of times. <laughs> I was like, hold the phone! Little Ponson! What's this? What? What on earth? <laughs> Bit of moisture. Some water there, kid. Bridge. Where are you taking up? <laughs> it's all rural. Ben, is this road going to Norfolk? <laughs> Letting us pass. Oh shit! There's an agricultural vehicle. Right, we're going off road. It's like, right, mate. No, no, you. We've got off-road tyres, pal. We're, we're scramblers. Mate, my clutch, when I let the clutch out in first gear, it just drops. Feels like it's going to wheelie every time. It's like an auto popper. There's some mega... Big <laughs> trust of fools! Oh, he, he can pull over this time. He's got more space. Oh, that was a nice road, Ben. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I quite like that little detail, it's a little ponton. Yeah, exactly, that's what I thought we were going to do. Well, that, we're seeing it anyway, so let's just go to the campsite. And shit. I can smell that. I can smell grease. It don't look like there's a whole load of shit going on, guys. Really. Ah, we went past those lads. So. Yeah, we went past. Them. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, does it, that campsite, but... I mean, it'd probably be alright for the crack, because there's some Jakai Scramblers there. Oh. Ah, I just wanted it, mate. I've never had it before, so... I'll, I'll, I'll just give syphilis a go. It's got to be a proper entrance. Ah, this looks like it. This is where they go. No, no motorcycles allowed. You're all Doyles. Oh, yes, that's what I want. Right, you can go in and pay because I've got no money. Saw so, Ted. So Let's crack them. Do you reckon all these people here with motorcyclers are going to Dirk Clark? Yeah. I think he's charging more for people that are going to Dirk Clark. Bitch. How much that cost like? So much. Yeah, when I looked on the website, it was eight. Why did he ask? Yeah. <laughs> what a bastard. I won't. He was on the phone, he was like, so what's the he was like he was like, yeah, but what's the price of a normal tent as well? He was like, oh is it this sign is it? I was like,
tomorrow. Dirkwick 2017. Just leaving the campsite. What? Senna? straight away without having to push any buttons whatsoever. She did it all by herself. Laughed. We're going back down Rectory. One last time into the Rectory. Yeah. That campsite was, uh, it was good, but at the same time, it was fucking shit. It was really clean. It had the facilities. You've missed Rectory. There was like, it was too. I like them a bit. I like campsites to be a bit more loose. No, that campsite was shit. I was just, I was just telling the vlog that. Um, yeah, it was good, but like the owner of the campsite was a bit of a bell end. Yeah, overcharging us because because we were going to Dirtquake. I mean, it's still cheaper than the campsite at Dirtquake, but uh, by like, by literally what fourteen quid cheaper. That was ridiculous. I mean, when I looked at the tickets before I found out that it was going to be on TV, they were twenty quid. I was like, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you had to pay an extra fiver to be able to get into the grandstand. A quid's a quid, but when you have to go get another ticket from the ticket office just to be able to go in the grandstand, that's, that's, I think that's a bit much, isn't it? On top of the 25 quid ticket already for the day. 20 quid for both days. It's changed, man. Changed. So like I said yesterday, I reckon they've, they've bumped the prices up because it's going to be on the TV. The TV is going to have to like pay all the people money. So they've put the prices up to make the money back just in case it's not, you know, that not that good on the TV. Which, you know, I don't really expect it will be. I mean, I'll still watch it, but... Yeah, straight up, keep going. Hey, I don't know. Still, I still enjoyed the race, like, the racing aspect of it was mint. It was just like the whole, the, I mean, like the waiting around for ha till half past twelve. When we were, when we when we thought it was going to be open at ten, that was that was a ball, eh? And and the prize like on last year, you could win a bike, a jersey. Yeah, uh, bit shit. A top. Yeah. <laughs> 